After the 1996 Nationals, which Cathy won, she came to me and wanted to know whether I'd be interested in building her a frame. So we had a bit of a chat and we ended up building this for her in 97 for the 98 uh, Commonwealth Games. You'll notice back in those days that uh, there was a fair bit of flaring, flaring going on. This frame actually has, that's a seat tube in there, see there? That goes all the way through. But what I did with this frame was to build a frame in aluminium and then I made a jig and pumped foam into it everywhere. Okay. And then I hand shaped all of this, this foam. All of this, you know, that detail up in there, all these sorts of things are actually been all hand shaped. You can see here how and how we trim back all of the flarings for the mm -hmm. internal so there was nothing sticking out. That was the only issue I guess for whatever. Um, right, so what I did was I put a timber to get rid of that. I put a timber jig around it until a timber formwork around it as much as I possibly could, and then blew foam into it. And then when that all set, I pulled it all out. And I started hand carving and hand sanding. And that's where you get all of this. That's foam. Foam. And, and it's hollow. It's hollow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, it's solid. Okay. It's solid. Solid so foam. It's solid foam. And then uh, put a bit of resin over the top of it. There's no fiberglass or anything in that. Okay. It's just a resin over the top of it. And then paint it. And to be clear, when that came down from up above. Yes. You handed it to me and it was surprisingly light. Yes, it actually, was. Actually, very light. Yeah. Let's go to the wheels because hmm. it's the talking point. The wheels are... I'm not sure of the brand, but I know that the fork is what was called a hooker fork. Okay. 24 inch hooker fork, which you got out of uh, the United States. I'm going to come around you because I want to show the narrow hub. It's a, not a new talking point, but Adam Hansen has sort of raised it again. But... Um, not 100 mil wide. <laughs> it's very tiny. Hmm. This is 1998 in Aero. Okay, that's a great shot. Yep. I'm going to come in just to try and get that hub in the light. And that is, oh, that is tiny. So we've got no dish on the wheel, but it's a 24 inch wheel. Mm. Because it is a fantasy machine now. Could you just flip it uh, that way? Yeah. Uh, with the rear to you, so yeah, that's how, yeah, perfect. And that's a great shot. And so 98, they didn't have any um, regulations about a smaller front wheel. No. So we've got a 24 at the front. 650 at the back, 26 inch at the back. Yeah. And it must have been rotten to ride. Don't know where she got in 98. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to look into that. Yeah. But that, to be clear, is her road bike. Time trial. Yeah. Hmm. But it's oh, yeah, a time yeah, trial time. road bike, but, but not her pursuit yeah, bike. Not pursuit. But as you can see, this was all hand shaped out of foam. Then I'm going to just ask if you could pull it around so we can see that Karima seat clamp with the uh, mm. post, which is very strange. And it's just out of the light there. And that is a piece of history. Like, there we go. And how we kept it in, as you can see, it was we machined a little bit off the front mm -hmm. and then put two grub screws into the front of the seat post or the seat tube, and that's what uh, held the whole thing in. 
Okay. That uh, if this was a zero. This look. This was basically a zero. As you're nearly going to get it back in those days in '98. But I'm pretty proud. If even if I have to say so myself, I'm pretty proud that you know this how how uniform this all flows in where the wheel was going to go. Had to have enough room for the brake bridge to get put in underneath there. That's remarkable. One of the frames I did beat for Cathy, when the Superman position came in, mm -hmm. she went to something like about a 58 top tube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the top tube was really long so she could stretch out. Yes. The problem with it was, is when she put the power down, the front wheel used to come off the, off the what's say, so she couldn't do, the, couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did you ever build an O'Brien uh, original? Yeah. Uh, As in the uh, no. Old Faithful? No. But I did build a couple of the Bianchi ones. Remember the Bianchi ones had a tube coming down to here somewhere, right? Yeah. The tube came down there and the bottom bracket swung by itself out here. Yeah. I built a few of those and people liked them. <laughs> Shame on me. Hey. But even aero, seat, aero spokes, the works. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. Tubular. What a bike story. Yeah, a lot of history there. And just to be clear, it's Giant Brandon because of the Heiko connection. Yes, yeah. He connection. arranged that, so it was with Heiko that it became, Yes. Uh, there was a fully functioning Australian cycling protein, Giant mm. ZVVZ. That's right. Sponsored by Giant. Mm. And uh, I think this, or next year, we're going to see a lot stronger branding from Giant in the Australian cycling world. And TI Sports again, but I was allowed to put TI Sports on it, even though it was giant. And the, again, the interesting part was uh, Mick Rogers frame, we had uh, Teshner on the six days, and uh, that had to be taken off. And I think we had Easton somewhere, and that had to be taken off because there was no, there was only one, one brand name allowed.